Hello and welcome to Getting Into the Weeds with DBDOS Best Practices, Printers, and Printing. My name is Mike Roslog and let's get right into it. You know, the first place I want to start out is around the words and the vernacular that we use to talk about printing with DBDOS. And as it, as it says, here we go again, DBDOS has reopened the concept of printing from DOS applications, which we haven't done in many, many years, ever since Vista was released by Microsoft and no longer had a DOS kernel, we've actually had to come up with ways of printing our DO from DOS in different ways, and that's what DBDOS is really around. Now the two hardest things to understand about DBDOS printing is the understanding of the DOS code pages and the hardware printers that we're trying to print this out to. So I hope what people take away from this presentation is really, you know, what is a code page and then what is a printer or what printer hardware are we trying to print to? In addition to that, we want to kind of go over what is an ANSI character set, what is ANSI output with extended character sets, what is the drivers.exe do inside of DBase, and also what does DB setup do inside of DBase, and as a cursory overview of those types of things. The first thing I want to talk about is the ASCII character set. Now this is the character set that most DOS programs used back in the day that allowed it to print out various things. So you had a hex code, you had a character, and as you can see we have the first 127 characters. And ASCII for the first 127 characters is pretty close to the same thing. If I go out there and I try to get a lowercase a, it's going to be a hex 61. And if I put a hex 61 in there, I would get a lowercase a every single time. If I put a hex 41, I would get a capital A. So that's how the character set was set up. And you would have escape sequences to allow you to get to those types of areas inside of your code. Now, there's an extended character set that's out there also. And this goes from 128 to 255. And this is really the graphical characters. This is how you did shading. This is how you made boxes and things like that. And they're two different things. One is a straight ASCII character set. The other is the extended ASCII character set. And each one of these are encapsulated in what's called a code page. A code page is the character set for that country. And so that's what a code page is. So let's take a look at what I mean by what we have to what has to happen inside of all of DBDOS and all of the things associated with it to get printing to work. As you can see here, we have a DBDOS setup, and this is running a virtual machine. And the first thing we're going to do when we start up DBDOS is it's going to go out and read the country code page. Again, it's going to read that character set that's going to be running inside of there. And let's say we kick off DBase as an example. Those character set or the country code page that DBDOS is using has to match the code page that DBase is using. So those two things have to communicate and be on the same page so that we can store our data on various different formats in various countries. So if I'm in Japan and I'm using 936, then that code page has to match the DBDOS code page, which I'm using inside of the actual DBase program. If those don't match, I'm going to get an error from DBase saying my code page doesn't match, and it's going to give me all kinds of different problems. Now the thing is, is once we get all of that stuff working, DBase is working inside of DBDOS, the next thing we have to do is make it so that it'll print out. Well with that, we usually use that extended character set with the graphics, because a lot of people put in boxes and shaded boxes and printed special forms so that their applications would look really great. So that, the output can go through a different code page. Now that code page has to equal the print driver. In most cases we set up DBDOS to use the generic print driver from DBase. That means that it gives us the best capabilities across the largest set of hardware out there available today. You can get into doing your own setup, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, but that's a lot of trial and error, and it's a lot of work. Now, once we get the left hand of the equation, DBDOS is running, DBase is working, or the program written in DBase is working, and we have the output going through the printer code page, the next thing we have to do is really get the printer to work. Now, to, we send the characters over to the printer, and then it relies on something called printer language emulation. This is where the operating system of the printer basically understands those escape characters coming in, either from the print driver or from the raw characters themselves. If all of those things match together, that should allow us to get an output 
to the printer. And this is showing you interpreted print, which gives me a print preview. But the idea is, is that I'll get a good representation of the characters used and the printouts used the way it's supposed to. So if all of these things equal, I have the ability to print inside of DBDOS. Now, if I take this the other way and not print correctly or anything is wrong, then it's going to break it. If I don't have a DBDOS setup that's working correctly, most likely I'm not going to get it to print. If I'm using the wrong printer code page, it's not going to print correctly or it's not going to print to my desired results. If I'm not using the right printer driver with the right printer hardware, I'm not, not going to probably get the right results. If the printer emulation doesn't equal the print driver emulation and the character emulation, if it doesn't understand it, I'm not going to get a good result. All of this leads to I'm not going to get a good result with the printer. Now, if I, if I would recommend to everybody that they use the generic printer the setup that we set up with DBDOS and when you load up DBase the original time, I would recommend using that. That's what we basically tested. If you have to go outside of that, you get into some trial and error. Now, the, one of the questions that gets asked all the time is what's the difference between interpreted and raw printing? And as you know, raw printing is still marked as beta. Interpretive printing basically allows us to get a print preview so that we can see the report that we're going to print out. We can change the font if we so desire. Now keep in mind, if you change the font, most likely it's not going to match the same code page that it was generated to print from. So you could get varying results, but we do give you the ability to do that. Raw print basically allows me to go out there and just send the characters right to the printer. It bypasses the Windows printer drivers, bypasses all the drivers, and just sends characters to the printer. There is no print pre preview for this, so the only thing you can do is really just point to the hardware you want it to print out at. Both of them give good results, and if everything is lined up, it's going to give you a really good result, whether you're using interpreted or whether you're using raw. Big thing is, is if you want to see a print preview of it, I would recommend setting your configurations to interpret it. If you don't care about the print preview, then you can go ahead and send them to RAW. You can also pick your default printer so that you don't have to pick your printer every single time. It'll just make the assumption that you want to go out to the one printer. So keep that in mind. Now what are the suggested best practices for printing with DBDOS? Well, DBDOS is normally set up with a generic print driver, and I'd recommend for most people in most cases that that will work the best. We have DB, DBDOS set up for code page 858, which is the extended character set used uh, by IBM in the middle 80s with all the graphics and all that. It has been the one that we have found across the board gives us the best printouts around the world. Both interpreted and raw allow for picking the printer and using it as a default. So you can pick your printer and say, hey, this is my default printer, whether you're getting a print preview or not. Uh, that was an update that we did in 1.1, uh, one, one, and so we think that that's a really nice feature now. If you have to, DB Setup will allow you to go in and pick different printer drivers for that. Now there's also a drivers.exe that has to be executed which will uncompress all of the different print drivers and you basically have to go into DB setup and pick the print driver and set it up to LPT1 and then you have to go back and forth to find out which printer driver fits your best hardware. So it's a lot of trial and error in this process. So if you decide that you're going to go outside the normal settings of DBDOS. I hate to say it, but you're on your own. It's a lot of trial and error. We've tried to test it. There's so many different printers out there, and there's so many different configurations that it could possibly be. It's a time-consuming process, and you have to basically go in, set your print driver, try to print something. Did it work? Nope. Exit out, go into DB setup, reset your print driver, start up DBase, and go through that whole process every single time. So it uses a lot of paper, a lot of ink if you're using an inkjet, and it's just a long, laborious concept. Now, if you're really trying to get the best printout, that will give you most likely the best results, but it is a lot of work. So, you know, just keep in mind that there are tens of thousands of printers that, that have been released around the world since 1980. Think about all the printers that you've been exposed to over the years. You know, trying to 
to align all of those little parts. You know, is the proper code page or the international code set correct? Is the base code page not match the print code page or are we trying to print different characters you know am I using the proper print driver that talks to the current printer correctly remember we're talking about print drivers from 1991 and we're expecting them to actually talk to a 2012 printer and my example is I've, I'm trying to use the HP LaserJet 6 language to talk to my brand new laser uh, brother 2270 DW and so how does that work can you get it to work and yeah you can but again it's a little bit of trial and error to get it into there and remember you have gotta make sure that your code pages match the character sets that your laser printer will basically accept as a proper character set so there is a lot of areas that you can get bogged down in when trying to set up a printer and a, use a different printer driver than the generic and try to get everything to be perfect it's a lot of hard work to get that to happen we've also found certain printers need certain print drivers or obscure print drivers that aren't part of the driver set so you may have to go out and hunt for a print driver then what you have to worry about is will it be accepted by DBase and is it a common print driver from that standpoint some of them are some of them aren't again the printers and print drivers are all good but the code page that you have let's say I'm in Japan I might not have a complete code page and so I might get my printout might not show just exactly correctly or I might be in China in that code uh, the simplified characters may not print out properly so again all kinds of different things that can pop up when it comes to printing there are too many configurations permutations and abstractions you need to test test and test and test and, and to make sure everything works correct in all cases there are just too many printers we don't have access to those printers so we try to help our customers to get up set up with a the best out-of-box experience but then if they want to go beyond that out-of-box experience and get the perfect printout then that basically puts the onus back onto them to do the trial and error and to get their hardware working and keep in mind and this is a very important thing all the hard work of trying and trying and trying may not result in a good result there may be no print driver that will work with your current hardware and the current code page to give you a perfect result so there is all kinds of things that even when putting in the hard work you might not be able to get to the perfect result at the end of the day so please keep that in mind when you're looking at it so we believe that printing is now working across the board for the DBase program and if you want to print to it it works pretty well you can change the code bases we've got uh, wizards in there to allow you to modify things if need be but for the most part you should be set up the print is the same as what it was back in the 80s and 90s again we're trying to send these escape characters that were defined back then to these latest latest and greatest printers for the most part it works uh, but you know certain people may find idiosyncrasies that they want to fix and that's when they have to get into the trial and error print is not the way you like it you know the code may have to be changed depending on the hardware being used I mean the worst case scenario is you may have to put new output to the printer or update those reports so they print properly and you know one of the biggest challenges with dbase is to get the VM to print and we have that working that was something that took a long time and it took a lot of investment for us to figure out how to get the VM to work with dbase correctly and we're really excited that we can bring that functionality to it but as far as printing reports we've got the printers working we've got the output going to the printers correctly but to get them to look like they did 20 years ago may take some tweaking on your part we think we're pretty close to that so with that, I want to say thank you for listening. I hope this was informative and you understand a little bit more about what it takes to print from a VM, a DOS VM, through DBase, through a printer driver, back to a brand new print with print emulation and actually getting a printout to actually print out on your printer. So I really appreciate the time and I hope this was informative. Bye-bye.